We've heard many voices here on, on uh, the channel saying that the two choices made by Carl for the 2000s were really not representative. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Well, little by little you, you will get introduced to other names as well, like Magenta. So Magenta is the band's name and Lust is the <laughs> song name, right? Okay. Hi everyone! I am now going to listen to a band called Magenta with a song called Lust. Now, Vlad has told me just now that Magenta is a Welsh progressive rock band formed in 1999 and that in 2004 they received the Classic Rock Society Award for Best Female Vocalist and Best Live Band and that they have released up to 15 albums by now. Well, that has me interested for a couple reasons. Um, first of all, many, many, many of you have said you're going to enjoy progressive rock most. And so this being a progressive rock band, um, I'm curious. Second, quite a few of you have said you really need to get into some more female singers as well. And so... This has a female vocalist, at least according to um, what I know. So I hope I'm right. And <laughs> so I'm going to be listening to those two things, especially. And whatever else I hear. Let's find out. that oh so when it started the strings that nice opening and the thought that went through my mind was it seems I'm getting the sense that strings are quite popular in progressive rock and rock fusion type bands um, and it's interesting to me that that instrument that instrument family is chosen over some others because it's such an interesting contrast strings are such a smooth sound compared to say drums or of course the guitar has has that smooth capacity as well so guitar blends well with the strings it's just an interesting choice we have brass which is a bit more brassy but it's interesting for me to see how these different sonic qualities are chosen and blended in with the music. And that brings me to this moment here. I was hearing strings and then piano and of course the guitar and other things mixed in. And then here, when this first came up, I thought 
that was brass. I thought it was. It really sounds like brass. And then I realized, no, it's not. But it gives that nice brassy quality. It makes it more orchestral sound. Is there are those actual voices or to me they sound like the sort of voices you'd find if you press a keyboard synthesizer it sounds more like that <laughs> happening so many different sounds being thrown into this mix it's like it's like that is a feature of the music here and it's kind of fun it keeps sort of um, qual quality of not sure not sure what's going I'm not sure what I'm going to hear next I'm not sh sure what mix is going to happen next but it kind of helps keep the attention as well. It's it's nice. I need to cut because I've got to ask you. 
Is this a song that I have listened to? Da dum bum 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 bum. Da dum bum bum. Da dum bum ba dum bum bum. Da dum bum ba dum bum bum. Sounds familiar. Da dum bum ba dum bum bum. I hear it in my head. What is it? And I have to go back. I have to back up just a little bit here because there's something else that is driving me crazy. And you might see it in my eyes. I've been listening and and I hear something. I mentioned it earlier and I hear something now too. Babs and they all are there. They all try to do good, but they're shouting for blood. Da da ba da da da. Ba 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 da da da. Okay, D there's. So this was earlier in the song. I've heard that and now it's going like this. What is that? What is that? It's driving me crazy. I don't know what it is. I've heard it. A song? Yes, yes, a song. A song. I've heard it. What is it? I don't okay, know. Again, again. I don't know the whole song, but I've heard this part, and now she's singing this. Oh, okay, I might have an idea. I might have okay, an idea. Okay. 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 Hold on. Um. What about this one? Yes! That's it! By Magenta. The, this is this is I'll find my way home by John and Van Gillis. Okay, okay. I knew I had heard a song somewhere. It's all through this song, Lust, and I knew that I've heard this somewhere, somewhere. It was driving me crazy. I had to stop. I had to have Vlad help me find it because what I'm hearing in Lust here. Is making me go back to that. Listen. They arrive and they all are there. They all try to do good, but they're shouting for blood. Playing out Matthew Hopkins' will. No, I'm done by the hate. For my soul, it's too late. I'm resigned to my fate.
so I was so distracted by that by that connection to this other song that I couldn't identify. I was struggling to pay attention to really what's happening in the music here. But now that I have satisfied my need to know what that was, um, I can go back to giving attention to this. It has a very, even this section I just listened to, um, it has a very, shall I say, popular, modern feel in that it's the type of music that I associate with with people liking to listen to or play in the background or if they just want something soothing and nice to play. Um, but because it is nice, it is nice and it has, you have a bit of piano, you have a bit of other instrumental textures and this this sort of pulse that goes on. If we're listening to this little interlude we just heard. The piano is giving a pulse. Easy listening style here. Get a little busy again. of the features of this song is finding a catchy or pleasant little musical motif um, whether it's in the voices right here they're bum, bum, da, 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 where, where you have those close harmonies between the two voices or whether it's that section that I backed up to a little bit ago where it was just this pulsing, repeating, or whether it is what we heard a, a little bit ago, the the little well I can go I can go there. I can show you. It's this little bit here. So it seems like there are a lot of different different little motifs that are being found that each one of them has an appeal. It's either very pleasing, very calming, or nice and catchy, or it has a sweet harmony. Regardless, there's something appealing about each little musical motif and then once one of those is found, 
it's repeated multiple times. This confess part that we just got into. Confess and save over and over your soul. The pain it will cease, they say confess. And it makes you want to makes it easy to sing along with it, even if you don't know the whole song. Believe in it once, they say confess. And then suddenly you remember, oh yeah, I can sing that. Something different. A little bit more syncopated and and um, choppy. A little shift of harmony here. Now we're growing into something else. We hear it coming. But this continues. We feel like something's coming, but it hasn't yet. for the same thing to be repeated so many times.
choral element comes in to reinforce it as we get towards the end. There is my first listen to Lust by Magenta. Now, there are things that I like about it. There are things that feel very commercial to me or, or um, artificial, maybe is a better word. Um, this, the, the amount of synthesized sounds in here. The voices, the strings, um, if that was brass at the end. All of those sound a bit like they're being created on a keyboard. It doesn't quite have the feeling of real orchestral sound in it. I don't know if it really was created on a keyboard or if the sound has been doctored to the point that it sounds like it was created on a keyboard. But I prefer something a little bit more raw sounding, if I could say use that word. Um, something that sounds a little bit more real, a little bit more living. That doesn't mean that I think this is bad or, or that I dislike it. It's Again, it's a personal preference. But and the other thing that I find interesting about this, there's so many different elements being brought in, different styles, um, different hints of different styles. I, I begin to understand why this type of music is called progressive rock, because obviously it has a rock um, foundation, but they're pulling in all kinds of things from practically anywhere to create whatever soundscape thereafter. I like that openness to incorporating different anything from anywhere to achieve what, what we want at the end. I'm not sure that I feel like this song... Well, let me put it this way. I can't imagine myself listening to this song more than once or twice, and then I would be tired of it. It's harmonically a bit dull for my ears and the repetition of the ideas, which is very clever and very practical and makes a lot of sense when you're bringing in so many different ideas, you need something to be predictable and that is how it's achieved and it's good in that way. Again, it's just not my preference. I want to hear, if I'm going to hear repetition, I want it, I like to hear it either contribute to a larger musical effect or I want to have it evolve, develop, um, go somewhere. And this does neither of those in this particular song. Now, is that all of progressive rock? I'm sure not. I also want to say that what I said about this other song, what was it called? I'll Find My Way Home. I'll Find My Way Home by Vangelis. I want to say that I'm not accusing Magenta of, of stealing or borrowing it in, in a bad way, but I heard it in there. Maybe 
it has nothing to do with this. Maybe it's just coincidence that those little musical figures ended up in this song. It's music. How can we how can we know? Because because um we have so many so many different ways of creating a melody, a little musical figure. It's completely possible for two artists, two composers who've never heard the other's work to come up with something incredibly similar like we hear in this one. Or maybe it's something that was intentionally brought in to add another element to this, maybe a musical reference, or maybe just, maybe it was just a little figure that they liked the sound of it, they liked and they thought it would fit well. However it is, it caught my attention and I had to halt the whole operation to find out what it was because I was not going to be able to focus on the music until I found that out. And um, anyway, but it's, it's not a fault of the music is what I'm saying. There's no fault in the fact that I found it in there or that it exists there. It's a very pleasant piece of music in a lot of ways. Um, the, the soundscape is such that you never feel like you are being uh, driven to a dark place. You never feel like you are being challenged in any particular way. It's very pleasant, easy listening music and something that you can also sing parts of it along with it because of the repetition in there. So even if you don't know the whole song, if I heard one little vocal phrase, I could sing all the other repetitions as it comes along easily. And that's a very, very satisfying experience for anyone who's listening to be able to participate in the musical creation, the musical production experience. And that is a gift of this kind of music where it allows us as listeners, even if we hardly have a voice, even if we have zero musical understanding, we are still able to follow some of those little fragments and become collaborators, become, become part of the musical creation experience so that we are not so passive in our listening. And that is a very special thing. I like that about this music. That is one of the things that I think it, it really shines in that regard. So those are my thoughts on Lust by Magenta. And um, it was nice. I'll see you next time. So would you enjoy more progressive rock? Well, I'm very curious to explore more progressive rock for two reasons. Um, one is because everybody, not everybody, but many, many people on my channel are telling me I will enjoy it. And second, I'm curious to see whether this is the pinnacle of progressive rock or whether there is more within it that it has to offer. Yes, it's coming, but Vangelis is not rock. <laughs> I, I didn't expect it to be, <laughs> but that was a very interesting little um, discovery in there. I'm curious to see if anybody else notices it besides me.